All right, so welcome back to another BG6 video, and today we're doing a less than 1% challenge here, and let's see if we can beat it. Also, I'm still practicing asking for this, but like, if we get 100 likes on this video, then yeah, I don't know. So we have half cash here, which is really interesting. You don't normally see that in the challenge browser, honestly. We got round 88, which is a really unique round. You don't really see round 88 either. Let's just see what's on round 88 here. We have a bunch of BFBs and a bunch of mobs here. And then we got a ZOMGs in the back. So we just have all these mobs to defend here. And then it says we have $44,000 here, but it says $40,000 least cash here. So I don't think we can go over $40,000 here. Like if we just spend all this money here. We actually can't get up Sky Shredder here, even though we have the money for it because of least cash here. So we can only spend $40,000 this challenge. Now we also have less speed and less health here, but those don't really change too much. 88 is pretty close to 100. The biggest things are one tower with selling disabled. So we just have to find the right tower and we can beat the challenge. And then we have all cash ammo here so we need to make sure we have cam protection on the tower lastly it looks like we have every single tower here it's just all 522 upgrades here so we're probably gonna be using a top half tower here unless Sada works but it's rarely the hero so what defends a lot of mobs i know glaive lord was buffed recently so let's just start with the glaive lord we'll pop down the glaive lord right here we'll go bottom path and see how good it does here oh come on that's pretty good i don't think that's gonna be able to defend zomgs though unfortunately we'll see what it does though yeah, that's not going to defend, and we can't move it around. That's pretty good, though, honestly. What we might be able to do here, actually, is put the boomerang, like, towards the top path of the bottom part, like, right here. Even though this pool water's in the way, so we can't put it, like, optimally in a certain spot. Maybe, like, right here. I don't know. Let's try right here for now. And we just put it as far up as possible here, and it might be able to clip through the wall here and hit the ZMGs. And that way it pops down the ZMGs early and then it can handle the BFBs when they come back around here. So let's see if it pops things down here. It looks like it's aiming at the mobs here. It's speeding up here, but it's not hitting the mobs here. Come on. Getting some pops here. Can it hit the BFBs? It cannot hit the BFBs. Can it hit these ZMGs here? Come on. Hmm. Like, I feel like it's speeding up. Like, it knows the BFBs are in range here, but it's not really doing anything. We do go down right there. I do like the Glaive Lord, so let's try a few different placements here, because maybe it does more damage up close here. We'll try this. It's barely hanging on to the BFBs here. Um, we'll see. Because it got really close to popping it down last time. It just wasn't close enough here. We'll change the hands for fun. And no, that doesn't work. Okay. Unless it can, like, somehow pop around. But it can't pop the other side. There are some things like Tax Shooter, but Tax Shooter won't be able to hit Camo, really. So that's not really going to work. We do have aircraft carrier here. I wish we could go middle path here, but we only have top path, basically. Um, let's just try aircraft carrier and see how it does here. Come on. I don't know. This could be it and stuff. Air aircraft carrier is a really good range. The problem is it just might not be able to pop things down in time because it's a little bit... I don't know. It just... We'll see here. Unless that's it. That looks pretty good, actually. Wow. What is that's a 1% challenge right there. Oh my gosh. All right, GG. All right, we have another 1% challenge here. Can we do three 1% challenges in one video here? Let's see if we can do it. Round 76 challenge, $55,000, but we have 10 lives here. So it could be Bomb Blitz. Um, we do the Bomb Tiger. Let's check things out. Looks like we do have all upgrades here. I'm thinking about the Bomb Blitz a lot here. Um, high balloon speed, high regal rate, low ability quota rate. So probably an ability instead. Bomb Blitz is a little bit hard to use, honestly. Um... But it looks like it's a standard round 76 challenge, one tower no selling, and $55,000 this time. So it's basically the same thing as last time. Um, I guess it's not, but we basically just had a bunch of regen, regen camo strikes. Look how fast they are. Oh my gosh, that's fast. Okay. Now, because we have all upgrades here, first thing we're going to try here is Top Path Village. Top Path Village is really, really nice because it just cleans up Saranx without any regrow problems here. So let's just do that. That might actually be it. I think that's it. We just need good targeting, honestly. Come on. Okay, is missing. I feel like we're just going to mess around a little bit here because there's a lot of things we could do. It, it did really nice on the straightaway right here. So what we could do, here's what we do. So look at this. So if you place it right here, it doesn't do that good, right? Because it fires at the start and it kind of like misses and stuff. But what if we waited to upgrade it, right? So we're going to pop it down right here. We're going to go for this. I'll go for a can touching because why not? And we're going to wait. Boom. Do that. Oh, no, it kind of missed. Okay. What about like this? Because now it's bouncing. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. It's a little bit of luck involved there, but we just had to give it a shot. There we go. All right. Our third 1% challenge. And how much time has it been? It's been 11 minutes. Can we... How many 1% challenges can we do here? All right. Another one tower challenge here, except we can sell this time. So, we might have to do some micro. Um, Fast mob speed. There's one mob around 40 here. So, you just have to defend one mob that's really, really fast and really, really beefy here. Like, this thing 
it's not that fast, honestly, but it's really, really beefy, 500%. So it's basically defending a BFB. Let's take a look at the restrictions here, right? We have a lot of random towers. I assume Middle Path Boat. Middle Path Boat is enabled, but I assume you can't use it. That'd be way too easy here. So let's just, let's just give it a shot here just to, you know, get it out of the way. Um, it's probably gonna be close, but no... Middle path boat does not work. Okay. But the thing is, we can buy and sell here. And if we can pop it on the ceramics, the ceramics shouldn't be too hard to pop because we can just get up like a glue gunner or something. So how do we pop down a Moab here? Um, we do have middle path Moab Mauler, but we don't have like the ability. Um, okay, let's try Super Monkey. I feel like Super Monkey seems like a, like a, I don't know. I just don't, you don't see Super Monkey pulled out too much in these challenges. But let's just try Super Monkey here. Let's see how good the plasma vision does. Come on. We want to watch the pop count here and see how many pops it can get. This is doing nothing. Not even a dent in the Moab, and we are at 200 pops. There's a dent. All right. So we probably need about a thousand pops here. Let's try Spike Factory. We can't afford spiked mines here. Let's try Spike Factory. See how many pops we can get. We just want to keep trying towers until we find the one that gets the most pops, basically. I feel like that's the strat. 300, so it's better than the Super Monkey. Looking through here, maybe the Darling, maybe the Sniper. Let's try Sniper here. Sniper's getting a decent amount of pops here. Only 300. <gasps> Ooh. We have Bottom Path Heli. Okay. Can we pop four ceramics with bottom path heli? I don't think so. But the thing is, we can buy and sell here. And if we can pop it on the ceramics, the ceramics shouldn't be too hard to pop because we can just get up like a glue gunner or something. Let's just start with pursuit and see what happens here. So there's the heli pot. And that should honestly be able to pop down the Moab. The thing is, we have so many ceramics here. Pew, pew, pew. All right, it looks like it is about a thousand pops right here. We'll look for the pop count here and see the exact amount of pops we need to pop down the Moab here. Um, it's about a thousand basically. Can you pop it down? Come on, heli pilot. You got this. It's a little tight. It was missing a little bit. Oh, that has to be it. That's kind of close. Honestly, because if we manually aimed, then we'd miss a lot less here. The only problem here is that that means every single time we restart this challenge here, we have to wait like 30 seconds to a minute for the helipod to pop down the Moab. And that's like... Oh, I don't know. Like, like if you get an ad on this video, think about how painful like a 5 or 15 second ad is. Now think about like... Oh my gosh. Anyway. I think it has to be Heli, unfortunately. Like, I'm looking at this. I, I want there to be another option. And so I think Heli Pot, I think we just got to grind it out. Which is... Oh, wait, we can sell. Oh, my gosh. I'm a silly Billy. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're going to have to do a bit of micro here. We have to be a little quick. How's that do? Yeah, GG. My goodness, we could have beaten it so... Oh, we could have beaten this so fast. I just forgot. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've been playing off of the first page of the expert tab, right? We've done three of the less than 1% challenges, and there's two more. There's JTJ's challenge, which is less than 1%, and then we also this one down here, Surrender to the Strang here. So we're going to try and beat both of these for five less than 1% challenges in one video. All right, so we have $28,000 here, Route 63, so we have waves of ceramics and then some leads here. We're on chimps, actually, which is absolutely crazy here. So that means we can't sell, no monkey knowledge, none of that stuff. Um, we do have a lot of options here. Default max monkeys, which is really interesting. So we can do as many monkeys as we want here. Um, we got a few restrictions here. It looks like we can only use one of each tower here, but every single tower is present. Um, we can actually farm and use Beast Handler. Beast Handler is just like always enabled. I think, I don't know if I've ever seen a challenge where Beast Handler was the solution. Um, we also have heroes enabled if we do want to do that here. Uh, we don't have Bloon Solver or something. There's definitely a lot of options here. We can't afford Glaive Lord. Um, Crossbow Master is an option. Can Crossbow Master defend balloons? We might not be able to afford it. I feel like that feels a little too easy. No, we can't afford it. Let's try it. Let's just start with Crossbow Master and see how it does here. Come on. Ooh, that almost defends. We definitely need a little bit better placement, so we'll just go here. Boom. Our 1% challenge is, like, not that bad. I think we are on, like, oh... I don't know what's going on here because there are some 1% challenges that I absolutely cannot do. There's some at the beginning, like like t in the back of the challenge browser that have like zero wins for like all these attempts. It's like absolutely crazy. But the ones in the front here that are pretty popular, I feel like they are a little bit easier just to be like, you know, straightforward here. We got to find better placement for this Crossmaster. I don't know why we're gravitating towards things that work, um, but you kind of just like learn over time here. Come on, snipe that. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, maybe we need to set it on last initially for a little bit. So we, we keep it on last or strong. Let's set it on strong right now. Um, and that way it'll keep its eye on the ceramics. And then we'll set it on first. And that way it won't get distracted by any leads. Um, oh, wait, wait. We can place down multiple towers. What am I doing? We could be beating these so fast if we just paid attention here. Okay, wait. Do this. And then 
We can go for... They are... Let's go Spike Factory, actually. I think Spike Factory is a little bit safer. So we'll do that, and we'll keep you on strong here, actually. Um, so it doesn't focus on the leads here. Actually, no, we want we want it on the... Okay, wait a minute. Come on. Oh, Crossbow Master just solos it. I misplaced my Spike Factory, but I'm like, whatever. We'll just try this. Okay, we literally had it. We just had to find the right placement. All right, GG's. Great. All right, next we have Surrender to the Ceramic. It's only been about 30 minutes, and a lot of that time was just spending time with the Helipilot. So this is absolutely crazy. Let's see if we can do this. All right, round 76 with only $8,400. Oh my gosh, that'd be such a good title. But anyway, we're at the end of the video. We're not gonna we're not gonna title the video that. Um, we got round 76, a lot of region tracks. We actually have monkey knowledge, which is crazy. This is actually okay. Eight thousand dollars is very very cheap. Blue speed is crazy slow, but everything is max buff. Let's just see how slow they are. All right, we just start. Look at how slow they are. Which means things like the ice tower. If you place down an ice tower, it could get like all of them. Um, because it's so slow. I saw actually didn't have the pierce right there, but you know what I mean, right? We have a lot of options here because the balloons are so slow. And we have a lot of options because we have every single tower and upgrade here. So let's try and brainstorm here. There are some towers like Glue Gunner, which do really, really well here. So let's just start with the Glue Gunner. It feels like, oh, we have, Glue Gunner's banned. Okay, that makes sense that Glue Gunner's banned. Glue Gunner's always, like, it, it absolutely shreds around 76 here. So that's okay. Um, Sniper's also an option, even though Sniper's a little bit slow, so is, um, the round. So let's go for Sniper, let's go for Deadly Precision here and that, and let's just see how Sniper does right here. That's not gonna be fast enough. Um, but what's nice about the Sniper is it pops things down without causing regrow farm, and that's the biggest goal here. So, there are some towers like Druid, which get rid of regrow, um, which are also an option here. Um, the only problem is these are 2,000% ceramics, right? These things are really, really tanky. Um, we could try Middle Path Druid, because Druid... Jungle's bounty is pretty gosh darn good. Um, we could also go for top path here. And let's just see how this does right here. Come on, Druid. Gets rid of all the regrow right here. But it's not able to pop things down. Like, it can pop one ceramic at a time. But just massive. There's so much, like, HP in these ceramics here. Oh, I keep forgetting. We can sell here. It's not a one tower no selling. So all we have to do here, actually. Um, we actually have a lot of options then, I feel like. Um, I think Ice Tower comes to mind as the first thing to go for here. We go for Embrittlement. And we'll go for Bottom Path Refreeze. We do that. That should absolutely get that should get rid of all the regrow. It doesn't get them all, but we can just use the druid thing from last time. So let's do the druid. Let's do druid of the jungle. And what we do is we start the round. We get rid of all the regrow. We sell. And now that none of them have regrow here. And now we just need to pop them down. But we don't have to worry about the regrow here. So how do we pop a massive amounts of 2000% health ceramics here? I mean it would be glue gutter, but we just don't have glue gunner here. Um Alright, let's see how Bloom Trap does right here. We're gonna wait. We're gonna just buy and sell it. How many can we get up here? Not that many, and we are in deflation mode here, so it doesn't defend forever. I mean, we could still use the ice tower. Um, it'll just be in a different way. If we use jungle's bounty at the start here, if we just start and then sell, do all the balloons get de-regrowed? And they do not. We have to keep the, the druid up until all the ceramics are de-regrowed here. So we're gonna use the druid to tier three. We're gonna wait. We're gonna de-regrow them all, and then we're gonna sell it, and we're gonna go for an ice tower like that, maybe. Hmm. We could maybe downdraft. I just think it'll get overwhelmed. I don't think downdraft's the play. They're so slow that maybe we could drew to the store. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like a lot of these challenges are just like easier than we're like thinking. We're just not, we're just, we're overcomplicating things. Does that just work like that? Yeah, there's, there's a monkey knowledge that makes it like freeze balloons, I think. Um, and I can kind of see that here. Um, and that's why monkey knowledge is on. So I'm pretty sure this is it. We have to make sure they have the right placement. It could still miss. But assuming he hits all the balloons, we should be good here. Wow, we've just been shredding these. Like, oh my gosh, we've just been shredding. Like, look at these, uh, look at these stats, like, on here. Like, these are some low stats, and we're just, oh my gosh. I know this is, like, a weird thing, but, like, subscribe and like if you're enjoying the video, because, like... I don't know. That, that's pretty cool. We're going to do one more less than 1% challenge here just to see, just to try one on the next page because maybe all the ones on the first page are just easier, you know? We're going to try this one called Strange Right, and Strange Right is a very ominous title because sometimes you do a 1% challenge and then you realize that there's like a bug involved or something. Um, So we're going to try this here and give it a shot. Round 63 again. So we have ceramics here. $40,000 here. 169 lives here. So we can tank some balloons here. We don't have bomb blitz though. Um, two towers no selling, um, and then ability cooldown rate's a little bit lower here. So you do want to think about abilities here if we can. 
Um, forty thousand dollars is a lot of money here. There's just a lot of weird restrictions here. I'm not really sure. Do we have glue gunner? First thing you gotta check, glue gunner. We don't have top hat glue gunner. You really want that top hat glue gunner? Um, it's gonna be three ways of ceramics, not one like it was last round our last challenge so i'm gonna look through these restrictions and see if we find anything interesting okay we do have stuff like ground zero we could do like ground zero like okay we have a lower ability quota right so if we do like ground zero then like i don't know what other abilities exist there's nothing else that's really like ground zero i don't think spike storms can be able to defend like around 63 rush let's see ground zero's cooldown i might not be able to use it anyway yeah, we can't even use it. Okay, so that, that solves that. These balloons aren't buffed in any way, though. They're just normal ceramics, though. So we can regrow them. We can hit them with non-camo towers. Um, Lots of options here. Let's take a look at the Sumer gear. Because the thing about Sumer gear, normally it's really risky because there's a lot of, like, knockback. Um, But when it's just, like, round 63 here and there's no regrows, we don't really have to worry about that. So let's see how it does. It's kind of close. It leaked down. I'm gonna try them at the front here. Like, look at that. It starts to kind of like hold them in place a little bit. I can't quite explain what's going on. Um, we could try going super range on this one. Cause even though it do less damage, it might be able to do better with the knockback. I don't even know. Um, let's give this a shot here. Come on. No, okay. So it's not like super monkey, I don't think. Oh no, is it druid again? Imagine. Imagine it's druid again. We don't need middle pass. So we'll just go heart of vengeance here. And the thing about heart of vengeance is it'll speed up once it leaks lives right gains one percent for every life loss after the starting value wait a minute oh my gosh you're like because this thing is, is gonna leak down a little bit we need to time this we need to time this because with the attack speed buff surely that'd be able to defend here let's go for you again here there we go oh my gosh this is crazy in fact we could try and leak down some leads maybe i don't know it'll leak down on its own though you just need it to blow at the right look at that that's exactly what we want it to do. Now it just needs to blow forever. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Wow. What the heck is this? Uh, well, I hope that's it. Um, okay, that's it. Oh my gosh. All right. Our 1%, less than 1% challenges, like, actually, like, we're crazy. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Be sure to brush your teeth. And the other day, I spent, like, you know, four hours on one of these challenges, and I couldn't beat it. So, I don't know. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles.